this video I'm going to basically illustrate the function of a vehicle alternator. Here's an alternator, they're all pretty much the same. A belt goes on them, spins this, which turns the coil inside, which generates current to run all the lights and spark plugs, everything else in your vehicle. So what I'm going to do in the video uh, today is we're going to have a dead battery in the vehicle. We're going to start the vehicle, take the dead battery out, start the vehicle with a fully charged battery. Then I'm going to remove the cables from our charged battery. So you'll see at that point that the vehicle is still running even though there's no battery connected. And that illustrates the function of this because at that point everything in the vehicle is then being run via the alternator which is turning with the belt run by the engine and it'll be generating all the current that the vehicle needs. Uh, I'm going to mention it in the video absolutely this is just for illustration purposes to show the function of an alternator and uh, definitely don't do what I'm going to do because then we're the I'm going to be taking those cables off. Firstly, it's an older vehicle. If something happened, I wouldn't be out anything other than a old beater van that I have. Secondly, there are hazards, spark hazards, that kind of thing. So, again, we're going to then take the vehicle with the dead battery out. Hopefully, this alternator will be uh, able to charge that battery enough that, that we can then start the vehicle and uh, that's pretty much what we're going to do. So here is our dead battery. Sitting here for a couple of months in this vehicle, I got to get this vehicle fired up and ready to go. I got to get it into my driveway. So we're going to go in the vehicle and try to start this up just to illustrate how dead that battery is. Now for starters I'm just gonna go up here a little hint as to whether or not you get any life at all is the dome light will at least come on. I'm gonna turn that off though. Now I'm gonna try to fire this thing over see if we can start it up. We have a little beep beep of the key in the ignition so that's a sign that we have power in the vehicle also. See your little door light indicator come on again, but when I turn o, try to turn the ignition on, absolutely nothing. So that battery is really dead. Due to poor planning on my part, I don't have a fully charged battery ready. So that one there came out of that car there. So we're going to replace this one with the new one. Okay, now I've put the new battery in place, and we'll try this again. I probably should have shut the camera off, but it only take a second. Now, let's see if we can start this vehicle here. Okay, so no problem with the fully charged battery. Starts up no problem. Do not try what I am going to do next at home. This is simply done as an illustration to show the function of the alternator. So we have started the vehicle with the brand new battery. I'm now going to remove the battery while the vehicle is running. Again, absolutely don't try this at home. Um, and then I'm going to put the dead one in and try to illustrate exactly what the alternator does by changing that out. So, set those cables aside so they don't touch anything. Right now, 
Battery is disconnected. Well, you can see the vehicle is still running. The reason for that is that all the components of the vehicle are being ran via the alternator right now. So that's why even with the battery out, the vehicle did not shut down. So now we have our completely dead battery in there. I always give it a little tap like that in case anything funky is going to happen. Any bunch of sparks or anything, a little tap first. Now we have our completely dead battery in there, and I'm going to take it for a little drive. And incidentally, when I go for my little drive, I'm going to take our fresh, good battery in the van with me. Because if I have to stop this vehicle before that battery, the dead battery that's in it now, gets charged, I'm not going to be able to start the vehicle again. So I'm taking the good battery with me. So I pulled over to the side of the road here just to clarify something. I said I was going to head to the highway to really charge up that battery and I'm going to bring our, your attention to the RPM gauge, the tachometer here for a moment. We see that that's running at around 800 RPMs. Now when we're out on the highway that's going to run a lot higher which means our alternator is going to be spinning a lot more because of that faster speed and therefore uh, producing a lot more current and charging that battery. We're probably going to see it up around 2,500 to 3,000 RPMs instead of around 800 as it is there. Okay, we're out on the highway. Uh, we can see that the uh, tachometer there to the left is running a lot higher than it was when we were idling. It's running around 2,500 RPM there now. I'm only doing 100 kilometers or 60 miles an hour uh, because I want to take it kind of easy on the old van here, which has been sitting for a lot of months. So anyways, that uh, alternator is, it will be spinning a lot faster now and charging up that battery. So we're back from our drive on the highway. Uh, hopefully the battery it was a long enough drive to charge the battery. For the moment of truth, I'm going to shut the vehicle down. And now we're going to find out if the alternator charged that battery enough on that drive to restart the vehicle. And it did. So I was lucky there. Uh, the, that battery wasn't obviously all that dead. I was not really sure what we were going to uh, find out there. If we had heard a clicking no noise, then that would have meant that the battery had charged enough to for the uh, solenoid to click, but not there wouldn't have been enough current there to uh, actually turn the starter over and start the engine. So anyway, I guess that battery wasn't in too bad a shape, it charged up pretty good.